Hey everyone, this is DRD from Dragonroid and today we're gonna check out Color OS ROM for the Xiaomi Redmi 4 aka the Redmi 4X. So first of all, in order to install the ROM, you need to have a DWRP recovery installed in your device. So if you haven't already, links for the tutorial videos will be in the description below. So do check it out or I'll leave cards right here to tutorial videos. So check them as well. So now to begin with you need to download the ROM file which will be linked in the description below. So download it and place it either in the internal storage or in the SD card of your device. And now open the update application and tap on the three dots in the top right corner. And select reboot to recovery mode. And select reboot now. So now your device will boot into recovery mode. So now the device has put it up into TWRP recovery. So the first thing you need to do is take a complete backup of your current ROM using TWRP recovery's inbuilt backuping option. Now select wipe and swipe to wipe. Now select install and select the ROM file. And swipe to flash. Now select reboot system. So the first boot into the ROM takes a lot of time. It took me about more than 10 minutes to boot into the ROM. So yeah, bad with it. So now the device has booted up, so let me go through the setup process. So while setting up the ROM, I just noticed that fingerprint scanner is not working, but unlike Moki and Lineage ROM, here it does not work both on Redmi, both on the Redmi 4X and the Redmi 4 variants. It simply does not work on any variants. So I just completed the setup process and landed on the home screen and I noticed this really odd looking red status bar and when I tap on it, it gives a pop up or a warning message to be precise stating that this device is rooted and it's not secure blah blah blah. So what it basically means is that since the ROM is pre-rooted, uh, it's giving this warning but I tried to. I tried to get rid of it but I it seems like there is no way you can get rid of it unless and until you unroot the ROM so yeah if you wanna use this ROM as your daily driver you better unroot it but for now we are just gonna roll with it. So the ROM has Google Play services built in and that is why we did not flash Google Apps in the DWRP recovery if you were wondering and the ROM also has exposed built in. So now moving on, the ROM has a bunch of bugs. To begin with, there's no support for Vivo LT and IR Blaster and flashlight does not work. And the performance is also awful, like it stutters and crawls a lot of time, especially when the device first booted up, it was very sluggish. And I also noticed that while launching Play Store, it took tremendous amount of time. So I went to settings and then about phone. And that is when I realized why this ROM is so bad. It's because this ROM was not developed for the Remy 4. It was actually ported for the Remy 4 from Oppo's A57 which is a mid-range smartphone I guess. And that is the reason why this ROM is so sluggish at times and has a bunch of issues. So overall I don't recommend you to install this ROM. but if you still wanna install this ROM for some odd reason, maybe you want your device to look like an iOS very badly, I don't know. But if you still wanna install this ROM, link for the ROM will be in the description below once again. 
help yourself. So yeah, that was ColorOS for Redmi 4, even though it was technically made for Oppo Z57. But nonetheless, that was ColorOS for Redmi 4. So if you like this video, go down and hit the like button. And if you like this video too much, go down and hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon right next to the subscribe button so that you get notified as soon as I upload another new video. And I'll see you later.